also learning something new. We always talk about Sudoku and crosswords and people are like, well, does this stuff really work? There are many different studies and not everyone is conclusive. However, learning a new language or even not even being proficient at it, but just the process, just process of, of learning. learning and the process of learning a musical instrument, whether it's the instrument that Gib plays, which is the ukulele or what I play, which is piano or the recorder, whatever you're going to do, it's a different part of your brain. You also get brain credit for writing or painting or doing handwork, any of that stuff that's using executive function. In fact, at my kid's school, every day they do some handwork or woodwork or knitting for this exact reason, because it is good for getting you into what everybody talks about as being the flow state uh -huh. and getting all of your brain aligned properly. When we do that stuff, when you get into that flow state of knitting, when you get into the flow state of doing anything with your hands, like even gardening, it will get you into that place. You end up helping your brain and helping your brain focus for the rest of the day. So because of that, they make these middle schoolers and elementary schoolers at my kid's school do all of that to keep them focused, to keep them engaged with the actual learning that goes on throughout the day. And I see the fruits of that. If you can engage the hands, you can engage the mind, and you should use that for yourself.